Uh, featherweight bout here, Jamal Emmers coming at minus 162 against Jack Jenkins, plus 162 for him, over under two and a half rounds, minus 145 for the over, plus 145 for the under, 5-0 and oh in his last five for Jack Jenkins, coming off his debut win against Don Shanus. Jamal Emmers hit Hussein Ashkabov with the fraud check of the century, uh, derailed that little, small little hype train, the 23-0. Uh, Russian guy coming in and uh, taking the loss to Jamal Emmers. But in this one, Emmers versus Jenkins, who are you thinking? Man, I love Jamal Emmers as a fighter. Um, his last fight, he looked great. Like you said, fraud check, though. And it's, it's hard to put a lot of stock into that because – uh, was it Rajabov? Ashkovov. Oh, God, there's so many OVs uh, anymore around the UFC. But um, he looked really good in that fight, and he did exactly what he had to do. Uh, wherever the fight went like he showed he's got great striking he's good on the ground um he's good with the wrestling like he'll land takedowns in the fight against uh chikadze i mean he was able to lift elevate and, and get chikadze down it didn't really hold him down all that long but i mean the takedown ability is definitely there and that was a pretty damn close fight i, I thought he beat chikadze in that one and anybody who can go three rounds with Chikadze and not get knocked out or make it a split decision um, is pretty impressive. Look at the numbers of that fight. Blew me away. Jamal Emmer's two takedowns. Jamal Emmer's 54 strikes to Chikadze's 38. So um, he can strike with the high-level strikers. He can grapple. Um, you know, against, who was it? Pat Sabatini got that heel hook, but I'm pretty sure, I didn't watch that one back, but if my memory serves me right, I'm pretty sure Jamal Emmer's was in a pretty damn good position until pat was like a wizard with it and got his heel um overall i just think jamal embers is a great all-around fighter now with uh if you look at jack jenkins in his last fight those leg kicks are so nasty and they're hard to defend for anybody especially a guy like embers who is longer and who hops in and out like if jack jenkins can just time those leg kicks he's gonna rack up damage to anybody he reminds me of gaichi a lot um, when he's standing on the feet you know he's a train wreck waiting to happen at times in his last fight against Shanus, Um, he just, he hits too hard and yeah, he didn't get the knockout there, but man, he was, he was putting hands to face and, and making it hard for Shanus to get any kind of offense off back to him. Um, and also Jack Jenkins will mix in the wrestling as well. So if he can do that to, to Jamal Emmers hats off to him, I think he's definitely legit if he can get past Jamal Emmers here, but it's going to be a tough fight for him. I think it really is. Um, <sighs> For me, it all comes down to those leg kicks. If he can't get them going on Jamal, I think um, that's you know that's his only chance to really take some of those weapons away from Jamal. So right now, I'm leaning Jamal Emmers on my prediction here. I, I think he is a very good fighter. Yeah, I'm, I'm uh, leaning that way too because he's so well rounded. Like he showed a lot of that in uh, the fight with Ashkabov. Like he kind of beat him everywhere the fight was. Like on the feet. Ashkabov was pretty explosive and fast. And then after the first round, he he just didn't have anything left because Emmers didn't care about any of it. Like he just brushed it off and, and used his own striking as well to to get some good shots in. But the two losses in the UFC, as you touched on it, like they're not terrible um by any means. They're actually like pretty respectable. Um, and then I always got to point out he's got a win over Corey Sandhagen yep. by decision in uh 2017 in the lfa so that's impressive if that you can impressive. like beat sandhagen by decision for three rounds like you know I, I understand if you clip him or something and you know you get that off chance that you that you found a finish on him but to go three rounds is impressive yeah very very impressive the only thing that scares me is is like the leg kicks like you said because jamal emmers is uh he's five foot ten 74 inch reach so i mean he's a long dude but he's a skinny dude and if yeah. those leg kicks start adding up, uh, it could be a long night for him. And Jack Jenkins does have the takedown ability. Uh, but yeah, just overall, I think Jamal Emmers is the better fighter. So I, I got to go with him. I think he'll have a, a decent game plan going in because everybody knows Jack Jenkins is a leg kicker. Like everyone fucking knows that. So like if you don't, if you come out and he's just landing leg kicks at will, that tells me you did like no research on your opponent. So I would expect he comes in here with a good game plan to uh, defend against those leg kicks. And maybe he goes to the ground early and just looks for uh, 
his own offensive wrestling, so he doesn't have to deal with that at all. I could see it happening. He's pretty pretty solid there as well. So I'll go with Jamal Emers as well. But Jack Jenkins, not a bad dog spot. No. Uh, 